hello and welcome back guys so let's see how to actually delete one of these rows so i will come back here meanwhile let's load in our local host so local host uh, php my admin let's go to php my admin here so we can take a look at our database so here is the categories database and as you can see this id here and this number nine number eight number seven as you would expect and so if we delete one of these um, we can either delete or disable it so let's actually try and do a disable before we can do a delete i think that's more fun so let's come back here so in the, exactly the same way we've uh, done this, we can deal with these guys here. First of all, let me just uh, change the, let me go to category class because this is where these things are created. The table is created here. And on this one, class label, let's see. Uh, so here, what I want to do is to change uh, the view here let me just add a style real quick here what i want to add is the cursor and i want to add a pointer there that way we see a hand when we want to click on these things like that so it makes the it lets the user know that they can actually click on these things so enable disable enable disable okay pretty good so here, what we will do now is to try and disable it. So exactly the same way we did with these guys. So we don't need this row ID here anymore. So I will remove this because we are getting the data directly there. So in exactly the same way, I will copy this. And then I will... What will I do here? I will add this one here on the on click bam so instead of edit row we'll say disable row something like that but it's it's going to be both the enable and disable so that's the id there okay so one thing i've noticed is that in our functions uh in the categories.php in our functions we don't actually use the event because we've managed to do all this without using the event so we could actually get rid of it because it appears we don't actually need it so if we come back here we can easily just remove the events because we are not actually using them so we can just send the id all right so disable row so let's create this function right here I will say function disable row ID and let's take it away so we don't need to ask the user to enable or disable whether they want to do that this is because that's because they can easily reverse their action so no need to ask them anything so send data data type is disable row simple as that and we get the id there okay so pretty good now if we come back to our let's disable row let me copy that if now we come back to our ajax here so there's delete row there but we can add one of our own here by simply duplicating this like this and then putting an else statement here so else if else if so we can change this to disable row all right and now let's take care of so in this case we don't really need to return a message uh, what we need to return is but we will return anything anyway so something anyway so what we just need is to add some data now the reason we need to add some data is because we need to update this entire table 
because we've edited something here and we need to see the result. Okay, so for now we'll leave it there. And then this is disable row, still at disable row. So let me copy that, disable row. Hmm. So we don't need to give this uh, message back. So just remove that, no need for that. Okay, so let's do an actual disable. So what do we have here? We have data ID, which is the ID that we need to use. So let's just create a new instance of the database here. Now, because we're going to be doing this database thing on all of these if statements, it will be more efficient to just enable the thing as soon as we enter this location here. So I will say db is equal to database get instance. Okay, so now let's use our db. Let me come back here. So we have read and write. So in our case, because we are we are not expecting any result, we are just going to use the uh, write. So I'm going to say write. And then let's put our query in there. So our query will read something like um, update categories, sorry, categories set disabled is equal to um, there is actually a way to, I should have researched this. There's a way to actually use the opposite of what, what's already in there so that we don't have to read from the database and we can just supply it there. But I'll check that out later and I'll come back with the answer. So limit one, because we just want it to do one row, even if there are many of these. So we want the to set disabled is equal to disabled. We will create this uh, variable. And then we have to tell it where to do this, on what row number. So we're going to say where ID is equal to ID limit one. And so we're going to put this query in there. Now, in order for us to, to avoid having to read from the database to check what the current state is, uh, remember that when we come back to uh, this point here, where we're adding an ID, we can easily add the, what the, the current state is right now. So we have two of these, we have disabled, we have enabled, right? So what I can do is just put this there as well. So disable row, and then I will put a comma here, paste that guy there. So of course I have to do this as well, like so. Okay, this is our variables, there we go. Okay, so we are sending in the current state and we're telling, <clears throat> we telling it the ID to use. So we can capture this now at uh, here, category.php. So we'll have our data type, we'll have our ID, and then we can just add one more thing here, which is, um, I don't know what we'll call it, current state, something like this. Current state is equal to state. Let's just put state there and state. So we are capturing it in this. So this, remember, is bringing us either disabled or enabled. So state will be there. So current state. So let's come back here now and to the class, so oh, not the class, the Ajax. So now we have access to that data here. So. I will say something like uh, ID is equal to, so we want to ask the question first, what is the current state? 
So I'm just going to get data current state like so. So if this is equal to disabled like that. So this is the question. So I can put it in parentheses like that to so that you know this is the condition, but you, you don't actually need to put these. It will still work without them. So if it's disabled, then we want to change. So disabled will be, uh, oh, wait a second here, what's happening? So these are enabled, come back here. So here it says disabled is equal to zero, right? So zero means they are enabled. So if I want to, now we're asking the question here, is the current state disabled? Okay, maybe let's start with enabled to make it easier to read. So is the current state enabled, which means it's actually zero because the way it is now it's enabled, so it's zero. So it means we have to give it a one in order to disable it because we were, we are trying to do the opposite. So ID is going to be uh, not actually ID, it's going to be, we want to create this variable here. So I'll put disabled there. So disabled will be equal to one, otherwise make it equal to zero, like so. Then now we need the ID, and ID is easy to get because we're just going to get it as it is. So ID is equal to data ID. like so. And uh, that should actually do it. So we're going to use the database to see if we will be able to do that. So I'll refresh and then I will click on enable disable. So as you can see, nothing has happened <clears throat> because we haven't set it up to give us the result. So let's just browse here and see what has happened. Oh, still nothing has happened. Okay. So I guess we are getting some errors here. So let's see what errors we are actually getting. So to see those, we will come back to, where is this? Let's come to handle result. So we have delete row, but we also have, uh, actually, let's just get the result right there. So I'm just going to say console, dot log result like that so that we can see what we are getting so i'll come back here and inspect element just to get the console <clears throat> okay so even before we go far it's saying reference disable row is not defined so let's come back here and see what's happening disable row. There is a function there called disable row. So let's click and see if we'll get anything. So disable row nine enabled. Where is this? Let's see what reference this is. This is not very informative. So disable row nine enabled. So let me come back here and uh, So what is it saying? And disable row is not defined. So function disable row, mm, that is defined. Okay, let's come back here and see on click disable row. Okay, so maybe what's happening here is that because we are echoing uh, this thing as a a string, uh, it could be causing some errors. Because remember, this is a number, so we are okay with echoing it like that, but this is a string. So what we ought to do is put some parentheses there. Okay, so we do something like that to make sure that this is a string. So <clears throat> this error is saying, um, where is this? Reference disable row not defined. So it's it's like it's like saying the function has not been declared, right? But we have declared it. So maybe it's not working out because of this syntax error here. So let's try again. 
Okay, so syntax error, missing property. All right, so let's click here and see what's happening. So disable row, current state, state. Okay, so what's happening here is that, let me go back to the categories here. Uh, because these are items we're adding here, we should put a comma uh, after each item here. So always remember to do that. Here it's because the only two items I have one comma there. And let me refresh this console. Okay, so so far no new errors. This is a jQuery error. We don't uh, need to do anything there. So let me click on enable here and let's see. So there's uncode syntax error expecting expression got that. Where is that? So let's click on to see where that is. Okay, so it's completely lost because it's showing me an entire page. So, which means we have to find, we're on our own here. We have to find the syntax error on us by ourselves. So it's expecting a comma, but it got a close bracket. So let's see where all the close brackets are. So let's see here. Comma. Okay. Hmm. Wait a minute. Let's see what page this is in categories. Okay. So it is in here. So which means it doesn't get to this. So if it doesn't get to the handle result, it means it's probably failing right here. 